The update procedure for radio and infotainment systems has changed. The diagnostic tester now checks, starts, and monitors the update. Furthermore, the tester automatically generates specification documentation. It's much more convenient to flash the software via the diagnostic tester than doing it directly within the vehicle. This is possible as of the second generation of the modular infotainment matrix. Enter the measures code as usual. The tester will automatically display which update medium is needed for flashing. It is identified by its exact part number. Now choose the source where you have inserted the update medium and confirm your entry. The software versions of the data carrier and infotainment system will be adjusted. You can now start the update. The new update procedure offers the following benefits. 1. During the entire update procedure, the tester will remain connected to the vehicle. It's no longer necessary to reconnect it to the vehicle after a manual update. 2. Specification documentation will be created automatically in the back end. This helps to analyze possible future problems. 3. This procedure is safer than flashing the software directly in the vehicle. And finally, displaying the part number makes it easier to choose the correct update medium. Prepare the vehicle by supporting its electrical system with an external power supply. During the software update, switch off all unnecessary electrical equipment, such as ventilation or lighting. Make sure that no electromagnetic radiation sources are used during the software update. These include mobile phones, which must not be used within the direct vicinity. Do not start the engine during the update. Do not operate the radio or radio navigation system during the update. This may lead to errors during the update process. For the software update itself, please carry out the following steps. Connect the diagnostic tester to the vehicle. Perform vehicle identification via the tester. Under Software Version Management, select Adapting Software. Enter the measures code specified in the TPI. Compare the part number indicated by the diagnostic tester to that on the storage medium. The tester now asks you to insert the update medium. This will be a USB stick, a CD or an SD card. After you have selected the source, the tester will check whether you have inserted the correct update medium. The software update will now start. It is monitored by the diagnostic tester. After the update is complete, the specification documentation is carried out automatically.
Caution! After the software update is complete, all saved radio stations and phone connections may be deleted. Check whether the language in the dash panel insert still corresponds to the local national language. It is not permitted to copy the SD card. If an error occurs during the update via the diagnostic tester, it is possible to restart the tester and the update later. To restart the tester, press the on-off button and keep it pressed for 10 seconds. Then proceed as previously described. 